I got Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, in case you're new here. Um, I only play video games for the hell of it, because I can, you know. Um, and if you can't tell by what's going on behind me, we're going to be playing some Bloodborne. So we're just going to hop into this. So uh, if you like this, you like it. If you dislike it, you dislike it. But either way, I'm going to be playing it because I want to. So we're going to... And then from here, we are going to start a new game. I do have this game platinum. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. First, you'll need a contract. Contract? Contract? A contract? Contract for what? The game. Whoa. Gonna be the executioner. Ex execution. No. Yes? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna say that's right. It's fine. It's fine. Um, obviously we're gonna be female. We're gonna be a femme. Leave it. Which one has the most strength in... Well, 9.15. By the past has fifteen strength military Or we can start as waste of skin and we can just pump all that into We'll start as waste of skin. And then we'll just pump out all the all the stuff we want into it. We're gonna start as very burly. We wanna Hmm We want a strong woman strong woman. Um what am I doing? That's not what I want. Face. Um, bu 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 bum. how do I fix the face? Oh yeah, which face preset has the best chin? That one seems pretty okay. These girls don't have very good chins. That seems like an okay chin. Not the best chin, but it's not the worst. That seems pretty nice, actually. That one. Like, it sticks out just a little too much, but it's better than not enough. Pupils. Big, big anime eyes. And... Hair... Let's do the point help because we can. And what do we want? What do I want? Dark brown. This seems like a good brown. 170 40. Nah, that one's better. 80 50 30. Okay. Uh, brow color. It matched already. Whoa, ho, ho. Nice. Can you match your eyelashes? I don't think it really matters. But, you know, uh, pupils. Uh, color of pupils. Uh, 80, 80. Match our eye color to our hair because. Normally, I'm a brown-haired, brown-eyed baby. And... I think that's fine. We're just gonna finish there. All good. Let's go! <sighs> I almost died. I almost killed myself. 
tripped over my headphones. Fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. We're just gonna move that a little bit, hopefully. Yeah? Yeah? Not on my way anymore, and I can sort of see? Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Begin the transfusion. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Everything's a bad dream. <laughs> so this playthrough is going to be all main story bosses and all DLC bosses and then probably hmm, how do, do I want to do Chalice Dungeons? Eh, we'll fit some Chalices in here and there but we'll mostly be focusing on Chalices needed to do a Platinum which of course means Defiled on McDonald's is going to kick my ass again. Oh, um, if you can't tell by the name of my character, we're going to be doing Pyramid Head. We're going to do a, we're going to do a Pyramid Head build. This is going to be great. It's going to be pure strength, baby. Pure strength. Um, up until, what, I don't remember what the soft caps are off the top of my head. Uh, let me look that up real quick. Bloodborne, soft cap. Okay. Somebody has to have this. Okay, soft cap for bit is 30. And ah, 40. You found yourself a hunter. Drink skill and blood tinge is 25. Same thing with Arcane. Daisy do! No! No, 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 no! Just about killed myself diving for that dog. Oh, moving on. <laughs> what was I even saying before I got distracted by her? Does not open from this side. Uh, saying something about house bosses. Oh, my doll is gonna kick our ass. This thing is the executioner, so. Soft caps and hard caps. And written scrawl. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Um. So, looking at our levels right now, we are going to we are going to do soft cap. So we're gonna focus mainly on strength right now, with uh, vit being the main thing we want to focus. On. Strength, vit, and endurance are we want to focus on. So for every Two levels we put into VIT, we put one level into strength. Up until we hit the soft cap of 30. And then from there we'll focus on the soft caps for endurance and strength. That's that's the goal. The goal. And while we won't get the weapon I want in the, this episode, and probably not the next, we sh will be getting it fairly early on in the playthrough, thankfully. And in case you're not aware, you are technically supposed to die to this dude. An idiot. No. My timing is off. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, finally. die there. Heal ourselves up and move on. But yeah, no, technically you are supposed to die here. This is the only one where of the games where I will be able to kill the starting boss. Um, I can't say I'll be able to do it in any of the other Souls games we will eventually play. Ooh, and the goal is going to be to try and play, is try and kill a boss per episode. When I attempt that. Um, this is not going to be spoiler free, so when we get to the Forbidden Woods, it will probably not be that way. We will probably, that one will probably be two parts, just because the Forbidden Woods is such a big area. 
And this will be as close to a hundred percent playthrough as possible. Um, as in, I know where most of the items are and I'm not likely to miss them, but that's not a hundred percent. I will probably miss like one here or there. Come here. Before I, before I can put my foot up your ass. That's what I thought. This town finished. Man, it would have been... If I was any good at voice acting, do you know how great it would have been to be, like, a voice actor for this game? Chest kiss. They have some of the funniest lines ever. Now, listen closely. That's gonna be the first boss we fight. Um, I have my settings. Did I want that? No. Environment. I have my settings like this, so if this sounds good, let me know if I need to for this. I don't know how much of this I'm pre-recording. Fuck. Turn it up a little bit. I was going to say, you guys should let me know if it sounds okay in the comments, but like, I don't know how much of this I'm pre-recording, so you guys can't really let me know if it sounds okay. <laughs> and for those of you new to Bloodborne, if you see these lanterns lit like this, it typically means there's an NPC for you to talk to. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. The island has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. I believe you. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the Healing Church. The Church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral. The birthplace of the healing church, special blood, or so they say. <laughs> Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. You also, for all these NPCs, you want to talk to them about two or three times. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum, you'll find the Cathedral Ward. Deep within lies the old... I haven't. That's your bed. Okay. But first things first, we are going to light this lantern and find ourselves in the dream. This lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at this lamp. Twice. Let's fucking go! I don't know if I've ever elaborated how much I love this game. The first time I ever played Bloodborne, I got to the first the first main story boss, Father Gascoigne, of which he kicked my ass so many times, I gave up. I stopped playing this game. And then I randomly came decided I was going to play it again. So I started trying to find people to watch. Because I'm the type of person that when I play a video game, I want to I wanna listen to somebody else play the video game at the same time. So I was looking around and I found some of the greatest, some of the greatest streamers that I've ever listened to. And that, to be fair, I'm okay with being yelled at. So if you're not okay with being yelled at, I would avoid this man at all costs. But overall, I think he's great. So if you want tips on um, getting the platinum for this game, I would highly recommend Jesus There's Toast. Here's Toast. Jesus Here's Toast. Let me get his name right. 
because he's phenomenal. He has a YouTube channel, and a lot of his streams get uploaded to it. Um, he does Bloodborne randomizers. He does um, speedruns every now and then. Um, he's great, though. I love him. And then if you're looking for a 100% walkthrough, a walkthrough, as in they'll show you where everything is, highly recommend Fighting Cowboys um, walkthrough of it. He does a pretty decent playthrough of it as well, though. So. But now that we're in the dream, let's do a little bit of a slower in the Bath Messenger. Trade in Blood Echoes with messengers to buy and sell items. Of which we don't really want any of this right now, it's fine. An abandoned doll. She'll be pretty important later on. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. So for a shrink build, we'd probably want to start with the hunter axe. But we want a good secondary weapon for the rest of this game. So obviously we're going with the best weapon in the game, the sock weaver. No, that is the, the sock weaver is objectively the best weapon in the game. I will take no criticism. The messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. And because I love to parry, we're going with the hunter pistol. Back. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages, messages with these loyal servants and share them with hunters in other worlds. Those won't really be via. Um, they're not really, you know, useful to us because we're playing offline. I don't feel like being invaded. Thank you. I don't, look, I don't look forward to getting my ass kicked. I get my ass kicked enough by some of the story bosses. Just wait till the DLC. Place items in storage or retrieve stored items. This just means we can grab... Oh, wait, no. Uh, hold on. Actually, give those back. This will just hold, like, anything we store in here. Um, But to be fair, I'm going to be selling pretty much anything we're not going to be using. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. <laughs> Welcome to the Hunter's Dream. This will be your home for now. I am... German friend to you, Hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. For your own you good. Know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll, should it please you. Eat the way he says that. This will be even. Okay. Move it on. Um, workshop. Fortify weapons using bloodstones. Not that we have any right now, but we can upgrade our weapons here. Repair our weapons here. And then eventually when we get it, we can add um, jewels to our weapons. Gemstones? Whatever. Um, and they will, like, add, they'll give, like, special effects to our weapons. The workshop tool required for this task is missing. This is where we'll be able to apply carol runes when we eventually get there. Quite a bit, quite a ways off, though. <laughs> to escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. Speaking of scourge of beasts... Uh, I don't know if you guys are into Magic the Gathering or, at all. I'm really not. But, um, you know, I have some friends that are interested. And um, I learned today that Magic the Gathering is doing a crossover with Monty Python. So if I drop more Monty Python jokes in here, I apologize. <laughs> this bath appears linked to the Nightmare, but there are no messengers. And eventually when we're able to, this is how we will get... This is how we will go back and forth to the DLC. Oh, and not that there's really anything back here right now. Sometimes we can find Garmin back here. And then if we come over this way, when we find the items, 
messengers will pop up here and we can change their appearances. We can like give them little cosmetics. Cute. My favorite one is the pots. I like to call them potheads. They're funny. They're great. And all these tombstones right here will are uh, for the chalice dungeons. But for now, we are going to go to the first floor sick room, which is where we woke up initially, and we're going to go talk to an NPC. I really need to get a move on so we can fight the first boss for this episode, and I can call it a night. Anyways, hello. Are you out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. She has, like, the prettiest name ever. I don't know what it means, but I will be stealing that name for my children in the future. Whether it's my fur babies or my actual kids. Whichever one comes first. <laughs> now, go. And good hunting. Are you still in need of something? But I have nothing more to offer. Please, try to understand my position. I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. I just had to make sure you had nothing else to say, so we can move on now. So, yeah, so this is going to be our main weapon for a little bit. It's a... Like I said, it's objectively the best weapon in the game. There's a lot more fun weapons in the game, don't get me wrong. This is just objectively the best weapon in the game. And like I said, I will not take criticism because I know when I'm right. Okay, pretty sure we grabbed the item down here already. Which means we can just look around. Twice. Very nice. I come over here for a couple of mollies. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Six molotovs. Those will be very helpful for the first boss. And the second boss, technically. They'll be helpful for quite a few bosses. But I really only ever use them for the first and second boss. And, uh, climb up here a little bit faster. We already talked to Gilbert. He's not going to have much more to say until after the first boss. Who's technically optional. Technically. Oh, we killed him in one swing? Yeah. Do I look like a beast to you? I think so. All right, we're gonna be a little cocky here. Not being cocky, I'm being an idiot. Oh my God, I'm being a cocky, I'm being cocky. Don't listen to me, I'm an idiot. You play and rat. A sliver of health, a sliver of health, he says. Oh, found beast. Beast. You fiend. Okay, anyways. Uh, like I said, we're gonna go pick some fights. This will... My running commentary will not be very good for a lot of this. I apologize in advance. But I also know a lot of this game like the back of my hand. So... <laughs> we're gonna open this up real quick. Just a quick little shortcut. It's not a very useful shortcut. We, like, almost never use this. But from here, we're gonna go pick a fight with the big guy. Come on. Open yourself up. I missed. I wanted to come in for the visceral. 
and instead I attacked him the first time, which is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Now, don't listen to a lot of my advice. I will give it, but you don't feel free not to listen to me. Um, a pungent blood cocktail. I don't know if I've ever gotten one from the before. Every now and then they will drop runes, which are great. Or not runes. Gems? Whatever you want to call them. Technically they're runes. Uh, but when you're trying to dodge, some of the best ways to dodge is to dodge into them. Um, because trying to dodge your way out of an attack is more likely to just get you hit. Are you serious? I'm an idiot. And you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Along, will ya? Are you well, trot? I'm pretty sure he just repeats himself, so we're done. I'm not wanted here. Burn, burn. You are cursed. A cursed. Okay. Anyways, um, uh, no, knock, knock, knock. Back y'all, come on. You don't want to dawn and light a hunt. Away with y'all now. Away with you now. Anyways. He also, I think, only says that one thing, so we're gonna leave him alone. And then we're gonna be an idiot. So, hi, hello, you guys wanna play? Mess up your brain! Hi, hello, you guys wanted to play, right? Right? Dead. I missed both of them. This town's finished. Wait, uh, yeah, problem solved, guys. I didn't know he could hit me from up here. Hey, hey, I didn't ask for that. Very much not appreciated. Very much not appreciated. Um, yeah, so Bloodborne is all about being up in your face, very personal. This is the greatest way to play Bloodborne. Um, shields are for babies in this game. They're rather worthless. All about being up and in their faces. But uh you'll soon I'm positive you'll see it soon. Um I'll get too cocky and something will kill me. Probably something stupid like a rat. Kill a dog. Trusted beasts. Hello, you want to pick a fight? You want to pick a fight? Get the ponya! Are you really that blind? Your curse. Who you thought? You thought. Ooh, you thought again. You're dumb. 
Thank you for the bullets. Thank you for the bullets. Pick up an item here. Moving on. We're just gonna glide our way on through. Doing great, guys. Doing fantastic. Bloodstone shard. Blood vial. Uh, we're gonna kill some birds first, and then we're gonna kill a big guy. So the greatest thing about Bloodborne, in my opinion, is... Excuse you, I'm trying to talk. Is the rally system. The rally system in this game is fantastic, and I really wish it was something that was implemented in the other Souls games. We do not want that transport. I almost never use this weapon transformed, unless it's in a boss fight. And or I'm being a coward. You'll see in a bit. And as you'll learn, these big guys are very good for um, farming blood piles. They almost, almost every single time, there are a few times where they don't, where they will drop um, like two, they'll drop two like blood vials. So they're really great for farming those early on. Um, but you eventually get to a point where it's just easier to just buy them. You are getting so many souls, so many souls that it's just easier to buy. Alrighty then. Hold the do. Do do do. I'm trying to think of what the best way to do this is. We're going to put one of those on. I think I killed all of them. It doesn't happen very often where um, my Molotov will actually kill all those guys, which is very frustrating. Half the time when I try to do that, I end up missing like the gunmen. But I actually got all four of them this time. Pretty impressive. So it looks like maybe the dog, I think the dog glitched the floors. By the way, we're not going up on the bridge yet. Ooh, and I'm skipping over a lot of things. My brain is just jumping place to place right now. That music box you hear is another NPC we can talk to. It's semi-important, not really. I almost never use the music box, but the NPC is pretty, pretty, she's pretty cute. She's a little swoopy pie. And now we're gonna go talk to some Latham lady. I reckon you're from around here. Well, Stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> she doesn't sound very sorry. Okay, if you want a game where they, if you want to like play through where they explain all the mechanics, I'm probably most definitely not the playthrough for you. <laughs> I, this is going to be, I want to play it, so I'm not going to be explaining each mechanic as we go through. Though, if you ask that in the comments, I'm completely willing to explain it. I just, this is, this game's been out since 2015. So, oh, it's been, it's almost 10 years old. <laughs> You're a hunter, aren't you? Then, well, do you know of any safe places? Not right now, I don't. I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you wanted to cut off your asses, you wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what in the pledge? Are you going to tell me you're not? Nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. Respect for the elderly is what that, that is. You outsiders do. Go on, admit it. You think we're all mad, don't you? Well, go and stab it. 
Oh no, we'll rule it two weeks. Her saying, you think we're all mad, don't you? You know what that just made me think of? So, um, I happen to own... Oh, you can't really, can't really read it. This is the original Alice. American McGee's Alice. I have both, both CDs right here. You know, when games came on two CDs. <laughs> I will be playing this. I will. There's no, there's no question about it. I will be playing this. And I will also be playing Alice Madness Returns, but for that one, I need to pull out my... I gotta figure out where I put my PS3. I have to figure out where I put my PS3 for that one. Do I have it for the Xbox? I might have it for my Xbox One instead. Um, we're not going down there. That will be a next episode thing. Okay, moving on, though. I want to accomplish one boss. One boss today. Pick up some items. Ignore that section for now. We will be going down there in just a minute. Well, actually, we'll mostly be coming up. We'll be coming back in here, but. Oh, God. He took more hits than I thought he was going to take. When the hunt began, the healing church left us. Blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward, as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. Thanks. That's terrible, my dudes. We're gonna go grab ourselves a shortcut. Right back to Gilbert. That's Stone Shard. And, ta-da! We're back at where Gilbert is. Problem solved. Do you think I can take the boss on like this? I don't know if I can. We're gonna attempt it, I think. But I don't know if we're gonna do very well. Especially starting as wasted skin. Hey, hey. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. That is not one at a time. Figure your shit out. He dropped two more. It's fine. I bit that one good. Okay. So we're going to go back around and into that building. But this um, will eventually be an elevator shortcut to take us to the last, to the main boss of this area. So if we look down that way, you see that? That will take us right in front of the cathedral. And that will be where we fight Father Gascoigne, who is probably my favorite boss of the entire game, and that's just because he kicked my ass so many times that I quit the game. So, and that's not to say that there's not other bosses that have kicked my ass a lot. Like, obviously, Orphan of Cause, arguably the hardest boss of the game. He, he kicked my ass a shit ton. Um, and Defiled Amygdala has kicked my ass the high head. Pretty sure Devala Magdala has the most has the most um, kills for me. He's killed me the most often. I forgot I had equipped that. I was like, man, we're just running around the dark. We will be able to buy like a little hip lamp, which will be fantastic.
Hi, hello. I'm arguably going to be a coward right now. Right here. So, come here, please. I don't really feel like fighting you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Mano y mano. Please come here. Attack. Thank you. I didn't really mean to do the jump attack, but you know. Oh, that would have sucked if he had caught me right there. See, one down. Come here. Come on. Come on. Only one of us is allowed to be coward, and it's me. He got me! Like I said, objectively, only one of us is allowed to be a coward, and it's me. Come on! Come on! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you. Thank you. They both drop bloodstone shards. Do you know how fucking rare that shit is? Which means, how many do I have? I got five right now. I need 16 to get this weapon to plus three before I have to have twin bloodstone shards. Which means, this is this is gonna be great. This would be great, guys. I'll be able to get this one to plus three way earlier than I thought I was going to. Um, we'll wait. I we'll kill them right now. We'll kill them right now. I'll be able to get more blood vials before I start the fight. Especially if he drops one. Come here. I want to pick a fight. Ah, this up your ass. Apparently, I'm not going to be doing that. I mistimed that. What is wrong with my timing right now? I cannot get the timing for the life of me. My timing is shit. Oh, ho, 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 if I died right there because I was too cocky. I had died right there because I got too cocky. I would have shot myself. Quite literally, just... Do crows bark? Do they bark? Anyways, I want a new outfit. If you know anything about Bloodborne, it's called Fashionborn. Not that we're going to be very Fashionborn, because they're going to be the Executioner. But, I can be Fashionborn for a little bit. Let's stone shark. And then we're going to come do a little section of the sewers before we go fight our first boss. Because objectively, I think I can do it. I just gotta be confident. Pebble! That's a bloodstone shard, and I think there's another one just like right here. See, all the bloodstone shards, guys, we got this. Um. For him to walk away. Is he not going to walk away? Gotta make sure I get the timing down. Don't want to waste anything. See, I knew a dog fucking... The dog fucking, um... at him. He goes to the fucking floor. Because there's no way for him to fall in here. He was just like, howdy, howdy, howdy.
This guy is scary. Very scary. Got a lot of reach. These guys make this dude specifically make me made me cry so many times when I first played this. Like I cried, I cried like a baby. Uh, was this the one that had two drop downs, or was it the other, the different one? I think it might be a different one. I don't. Okay, yeah, it's not this one. Whew. Go get that drop down, baby! I miss you. Oh, I was almost off. Okay, my dude, I have a bike to pick with you. Come here. Come hither. Again, come hither. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I will see you guys when I get back. Hey everyone, we're back in the sewers. And since technically I don't have to drop down for the item anymore, we are going to just take the ladder. Because if we come down this way, you look, you see that goddamn rat and how its eyes are glowing? It's not my goddamn soul. I want the bat. My light's off. I'm not having the best time right now. I'm struggling. I struggle bussing. Oh god. Pay attention. I just need to pay attention. That's all I need to do. If I had fucking died right there, I would have screamed. You know what I need to do before I fucking die again? Fucking heal. That's what I need to do. I need heal. Are you kidding me again? I wanna fight a goddamn boss. I want to play some Fashion Souls. There we are. A real hunter. A hunter must hunt. Even if a dream. Anyways. Kill some more rats and then we'll be able to uh, go kill a boss. You thought. Okay. Just to make sure. Because I thought... I, I'm pretty sure we grabbed the item, but I just wanted to make check. Make check. Make check. Make check. I want to make check. Make sure. Them's the words I was trying to think of. Okay. And then we want to run... This way. Right? No. This way. This way to the ladder. And we can go up, up, and away we go. Do, 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 do. Keep on doing your thing. One step is all it takes. One more step 
do we celebrate tonight? Anyways, uh, we have 10,000 souls. Runes. Echoes? Echoes is the right one for this one. So, uh, let's see. What do we want? Malta. Oil urns. And Molly. Yeah. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And. That was not creepy. The ragdoll physics in the background there. Go kill ourselves the boss. Okay. We just gotta chillax. Be calm, cool, and collected. I'm sorry. Like that better if fucking hit him. We have Molotovs that I just want to use up first. Way to go. You got this, guys. Okay. Now we just need to be calm, cool, and collected. Back up. Oh, <laughs> I panicked. Panicking just a little bit, but we're fine. Oh, shit. Shit. No, 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 no. She be chill, chill guys, chill. Oh God, I'm an idiot. I don't think that's gonna do anything, but we're gonna try it. Because I can. <laughs> I like I said, I really don't think that do that did anything, but you know. He did it. He did it. And I panicked the entire time. Fine. Can you believe that this bitch, this bitch right here, that panicked during that entire Cleric Beast boss fight, has platinum this game? I haven't either. But, we still have a couple minutes of this game left, this episode left, so now that we've beat this boss, you know what we're gonna do? 
I'm gonna go spend some goddamn echoes. Take me back, world! Uh, before we talk to the doll, consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. The silencing blink and such forms of cooperation. Hello, good hunter. I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. And all. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Okay. Uh, how many levels do we get? 13 levels, that's not bad. Okay, one, two... One, one, two, one, one, two, one, 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 ah. Well, in that case, I think we will put the, that point into strength. Nice. Get our HP up, our stamina up a little bit. Our cat. I don't really care about saving these, so maybe we can just... Maybe we'll just use those. I don't really care about saving them. Hold on, hold on. Before we use the rest of those up. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? Consume insight and ring the old hunter bell to enlist the cooperation of old hunters. Nice, nice. Oh, and we'll probably want to try to find Garmin while we're here. Nice, hey, so we only need eight more. We're doing great, guys. We got a plus two weapon already. Okay. Welcome. Very well. Let me. Okay, um, only, it's only one more level. And... Yeah, I'd much rather put it into Endurance. But yeah. If you speak with German, he was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Uh, channel whatever? Ah, the little ones. Inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, aren't they sweet? Very. Ah. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, Goodbye, lady. Goodbye, Miss Dollar. Uh. Gearman back here. I didn't think so, but just in case we wanted to check. I don't think there's anywhere else Gearman pops up. I know he pops up here. Back here, um, and then most often he's in here, which he is not right now. I don't think he pops up anywhere over here. I mean, we can do a quick run through. But like I said, I don't think he pops up over here anywhere. And all these just, like, they're telling you how to use the mechanics of the game. Yeah, I didn't think so, I just wanted to double check. Well, this is where we're going to call it. Next time we pick this up, we will pick it up at 
Probably back at the bridge. Probably that. Actually, we'll probably pick it up by Gilbert. Um. Yeah, so we're gonna call this one here, though. So, um. We're gonna say goodbye to our little executioner here. And we are going to hop on up. Okay. So I do hope you guys are enjoying this or will enjoy this. I love Bloodborne. I'm excited to play the Souls games. I've only ever platinumed this one and Dark Souls 1, and I've sort of played every other Souls game. Uh, I've gotten, I started them, and I got somewhere in them, and then never finished them. So, we'll get to those eventually. But I do hope you guys enjoy this. If you like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, hit the like button, share, subscribe if you feel like it. And yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye-bye! Mm,